Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm just sharing this quick video of a week in the life, the week leading up to Easter, all of the different little things that kept us busy during the week, starting with making this doghouse for our dog Scotch. Doghouse, I think right here on top. These all need some of those too. The kids actually came up with the idea to get a doghouse for Scotch that we could use on our patio. We've had our dog Scotch for almost two years now he's a rescue we he's a shiba inu chihuahua mix so he's kind of small but very smart and athletic and fun and lincoln's our great little engineer and he did a great job putting this together with me and he loved it as much as scotch did lincoln where'd you say lincoln i could just sit in here and play video in the So here's the final product for Scotch. His bed is in there right now. We were trying to make it feel familiar for him, but it's a little bit big. But this is great. He loves it. He's somewhere else on this patio doing something else. Scotch, say hello. Scotch, say hello. Hi, and there you go. So now you have a little place to hang on the patio. Um, we are just kind of starting off on our staycation. Everybody can say hi. Hi. <laughs> so it's Sunday evening. Um, we've had a pretty productive weekend. We had a soccer game that did not go well for us. We had a come to Jesus moment. We were in a new league and it was a very, very competitive game um, that we lost 6-1 on Saturday morning. And then we just kind of came and took a load off on Saturday. I made dinner, big pasta dinner. And then today, Sunday, uh, Kobe had some real estate work to do. We got a new mattress at our house. We built a dog house for our dog, Scotch. So that was a lot of fun this morning. And now we are on our way to a little bit of a shopping excursion at the Century City Mall. I'm going to be buying a gift for a friend, a friend of mine who's going to be playing in a poker tournament in Vegas. So I just want to get her a little good luck something. So we are on our way to do that and maybe have dinner there. Who knows? Who knows where it will lead? But we're having beautiful weather in LA. It's like 87 or 89 or something like that. So this is the weather that we pay big bucks for that we um, usually expect around this time of year. So I'm going to take advantage. So I think we found the perfect gift, which are playing cards, which is amazing. And they have some that they can emboss and personalize. So I'm going to try to get that turned around for her into this. <laughs> All right, there's Laya trying to hide her face, but she's not quick enough. <laughs> we are just having some drinks right now at Bar Verde at the Nordstrom. Yeah, it's also kind of random where we're sitting now at Bar Verde. I can see the Century Plaza residences where I'm actually going to be doing a tour with a client this week. Those are beautiful. Yeah. The delivery is going to be later in 2021. Uh, so we've got a good relationship with the sales director there. So we're going to get a special hard hat tour coming up. Nice. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. Cheers, friends. Cheers. Hopefully I like this. Yeah, I think you'll like it. it. Looks great. Alright, so we are ending our day with a little dinner at PF Chang's. Who's hungry? Who's hungry? Are you hungry, Lincoln? How hungry are you? 85%. Wow, he's hedging. He's hedging so when he doesn't finish eating, <laughs> he won't get in trouble. This food is good. Plus, when I get full, uh, we always, everyone gets full. So, everyone. Everyone who sits at the table gets full. Mommy doesn't eat her food and then daddy says it's okay. When I don't eat my food, daddy says it's not okay. Keep eating. You need to eat five million more bites. Finish Thank you. And then my mom's like, finish the food. All right, 
right, so happy Monday. I am on my way to Cast and Plow at the Ritz Carlton in Marina Del Rey to meet two ladies for breakfast. Um, I'm not a lady who lunches today, I'm a lady who breakfasts. That works, breakfast. Um, fortunately, Kofi's able to start his day from home so that I can catch up with uh, some friends that are in from out of town. So I'm super excited about that because I have not been getting out much at all uh, with the distance learning and all of that, as you can imagine. So this should be fun. Okay, so we are just out for a walk to wrap up Monday. Just go home and make dinner. A crazy Monday. It's a crazy Monday. Busy <laughs> a work day. Of a crazy Monday, huh? Stress relief walk. Stress relief. Yeah, so getting it in, finishing up. So it is Tuesday and I am having quite a day. I had a meeting this morning that I thought was at 10, but it turned out it was 9. Zoom. So one of those mornings was the, the start to my day. Um, Laya's still doing distance learning school today. She has a debate because she's on the debate team. So she's about to do her debate. I spent most of the morning just trying to tidy and get laundry done, get laundry through the wash because uh, housekeeping's coming today and they'll obviously fold everything that's washed. So there's always like a mad rush the day that they're coming to wash all the things. Um, and then I am coaching soccer practice tonight. So today is a little bit of a busy day. I've got quite a few things to do. I'm like writing out my list of things to do and realizing that it's kind of piling up on me. So I need to get a little serious, a little bit more focused, um, despite the fact that we're trying to take it a little easy um, this week. Uh, so I did get some grocery shopping done on Amazon. I got like Laya scheduled for her magnesiums this week and uh, I'm working on some presentations that are due. It's all busy, 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 busy. <laughs> Tuesday evening, Laya's debate team won her debate, so that was great, and then we went to soccer practice. On Wednesday, I started doing a lot of research for an article that I'm writing on distance learning gaps for uh, Red Tricycle, Tiny Beans. I'm a contributing writer there, so there's a lot that goes into those articles, and I did get a chance to work out at Griffin Club where we're members at the gym. Thursday, we had our art history class. We were finishing up a art project that we did, a collaborative art project on the seven days of creation um, that is part of our studying illuminated manuscripts in European art history. And after we were done putting this project together, we went to the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, LACMA, and we saw a couple of diff different exhibits, especially the NARA exhibit, um, which had mixed reviews from the kids. So modern art is definitely kind of a different perspective and very different from what we've been learning in general in European art history. So there was a lot of conversation on what really constitutes art and what makes art great and the subjectivity in art. European art history is one of two classes that we do in collaboration with the Shen family. Um, so we are doing also general science this year together. And the girls also do an online course, online literature course together. Um, the, one of the other girls in the family is also on my daughter's soccer team. So we took her to soccer practice that night. On Friday, I received a beautiful bouquet of flowers from a family that I wrote a letter of recommendation for, for their son to get into private school. And then I taught a writing workshop. It's a six week workshop that I have designed for my kids and one other little girl. And then on Saturday, Lincoln had a birthday party before I coach my soccer game. Just 
So far, this has been a difficult season for our girls. We've been pushed to a more competitive league, and I explain that we are having a come to Jesus on our commitment and dedication. We have to definitely earn it. So we are one and two, but getting there. And then later on that night, I had a business dinner with Kofi, so I had to turn it around for that. And of course, Sunday was Easter. We did not get to dine these Easter eggs on Sunday. It was much later, but we did get to go to church. It was our first time back to church since coronavirus. So that was exciting for us. And then we went to brunch at Griffin Club and had a really delicious, beautiful brunch. And that was my full and very, very busy week. Thanks so much for watching.